all right good morning guys so let's start our today class in today class what we're going to talk is is uh first thing right the study uh you know problem right i mean th this section was not displaying okay so i will explain that first and then we're going to work on updating this part right so if i go to the home page uh you know like if i go to the home page right and go to profile somewhere here basically i'm redirecting to this profile uh we added the updated the link right uh button to basically link you know we add the link and update our url to go to this profile uh path right we will reach here and then in this one we update this section okay so i will explain that why what simple issue okay just simple one right small bug and then today we're going to work on this update this section this component right and then the second we're going to work here right so in this following button follow right most likely follow okay so when you're going to click follow then we will update this like a request sent for following right if you click back again then you will get back to this position right like off and on okay and how we can update the data right because uh, we have the you know like the schema right for the follow uh, we have two schema okay let me check quickly so if we go to the schema right where is the schema here so if you look at the schema followers and follow sending the following request right so inside here you have sender id and receiver id right following request this is the two and also we have follower here right follower okay so the follower id mm -hmm. and following id right basically you know there is two profile uh, we will be right i mean just imagine right now i'm the only one logged in right in the future if there are many uh let's say many person created account right then you open one of them then you're gonna click on there right but the process will be same okay so when you click you send the following follow request when you click again you get back right like unfollow follow and unfollow right so that is what we're gonna do and the next will be almost same process for the block right also either you can block or unblock right so almost the same idea so we will look at maybe tomorrow class uh, i think it will be too long so let's start with the this part first right what is the issue from study or basically bug okay in the user info card if you remember study right uh where is that not user info but uh, profile card right profile card here profile profile card right okay you know let me quickly check out what is the card even i keep forgetting the card name right there is so many things now uh just give me a second okay you not user media right what is the card name do you guys remember the card name what is the card name for this what is the component name anyone remember left menu no in the profile right uh, user info card not this one okay user media not this one so profile card right even not this one so uh, let's see comment feed loading post story right anyone guys tell me what is the card what is the component name here this one so this will be in the page right in the uh in the in the id let's find out here you go to the user page here and then try to look on the top right because uh, remember we don't have component for that we are just using the 
code here right in the center okay so the problem was from study this part okay here right remember just think of the one thing right when you get some information if so, if you block someone okay if you block someone right and you don't in that case you don't want to see the profile so if you get the uh, let's say you you're getting back here right like block find the blocked person information here you're gonna get response back if there is a response then is blocked is converted to true right and if this is true right that means that profile is blocked okay so in that case if this is true then we can return not found right i means you cannot access to the uh, user information okay but what i make i make it here not true basically right now it is false because i have not blocked anyone so it is false this one is false right and what i make it now not false that is true that's why this was displaying right so if i refresh the page now you're gonna see something like this see i cannot see uh the page now right so that's the reason okay so it should be only time if someone is blocked then this will convert to true and when it is true then you can display not found page okay that's the only thing there was a bug bug or maybe some so refresh now and it should work fine okay so the rest was okay now let's move to this component right so this is user info component user info component let's go there uh in the component part profile right and user info card this one okay so if you look at this component uh there are few things i mean what we have to do right we we gonna you know we gonna receive this user user right we can receive this user from the by passing the props here user info card so um uh, let's go to the right side menu right in the right menu here uh, right menu right and you are sending user info card okay you are just passing this user right before was user user id you can just convert now to user okay because we're going to send the whole user right we are getting you know we have the user here remember when you call this right menu right you're going to send the user okay and same user we're going to pass to this children component even user media card and you can pass here right so this component has user available when we go to the user info card so you track from the top right for example let's go to the right menu here what is right menu call now in your page right in your page in this page you're gonna call the right menu so look at the right menu uh, left menu then you're gonna have somewhere here right menu and then you're gonna just sending the user right so so okay so there is some issue here we sending the user user dot name okay you have to send the whole user just send the whole user right not only username just send the whole user like that uh, because we are getting user here right see we are getting the user okay fine so we have the user you pass to the user right mini user in the right mini user we are using user uh info card and that will receive also right so just passing from parent to child child to another child right that's how it pass pass now this child has the user we're gonna update now right so let's start there so the first thing you see here is this line we're not gonna do anything let's work on this two thing right let's update this okay so here is the full name so that's what we're gonna update so you can find here I'm gonna delete this and I will write the code, right? So we're gonna, you know, like sometimes maybe we don't have the user full name, right? Like name and surname we don't have. Remember study what we have done in the uh, 
in the card, right? Let me check quickly. What was the card name, guys? Profile card, right? We did some work here. This one, okay? So we're gonna check. Same thing. Let's copy that. So basically, you know, user dot name and user dot surname, right? If there is both of them, then only display that. Else display this, right? So we check if there is something right in the database, then display that. If not, so this is the ternary operator, right? If this part is true, then only it is gonna run the first one, right? Else, if this is false, then it's gonna run the second one here, separate with column. So I hope you guys remember. Here also we can do the same thing, you know, like let's display it, uh, you know, like just add it something like uh, add the rate, right? And then we just call it user. So we can just call user dot maybe uh, user username, right? Let's add username only okay just keep it like that now we have paragraph here right like some description so we have to check what are the information we're getting back right here so we have username avatar cover name surname description we, we got this right description so we will check now uh if there is a description for example if user dot description right if that is true uh or maybe we just write it like if that is there right then only add this paragraph okay so that means uh, we might have to delete this and put the paragraph inside right then only run the paragraph okay because if there is no description there is no point right uh, displaying that paragraph so we're gonna just put here a user dot description like that okay uh that's the thing right uh, so in, right now see there is no description this is gone right because there is no description un until now so you don't see here okay but you can see the username and add the rate also right something you can see there let's add the address right uh, same thing uh, we we you know follow the same pattern right so living in if you if you go to the database the user right so this will be city right city we're gonna add here so just i mean let's put it inside here now right uh so we can say user if there is user dot city then display right uh, basically just add it to user user dot city right let's do that one right now you don't have anything so you're not gonna get right you don't gonna get anything okay uh same thing for here also right so school so if there is user at school right then only you can display user dot school fine so you know there is no you're not gonna get and same thing with the work also right so where is the work here so let's add that if there is user dot uh, uh work right we have the field called work then only we're gonna display that user dot work okay so that's done now uh i think the web link right web link is here so we're gonna display this and also you're gonna add the link right so let's see we got the yeah yeah let's put it 
same thing you know if user dot uh, website right mm -hmm. then only display user dot website so right now we don't have website you're not gonna see anything okay uh we can put it something here right website like that so okay the next is date right so when you created the profile like when you join when you join the database okay when you open your uh profile right so how are you going to display join date you know when it started like 2006 two, four, five, whatever so uh we gonna we have to get uh you know like now we have the date right if you click on this user you're gonna get the created ad this one right so let's first format the date okay so, so how are we gonna do that somewhere here right on the top before return okay we're gonna write some code so i have the code here i'm just gonna copy and paste right uh let's go back to the profile card oh not here let me close this so if you look at this created at date right so we're gonna say new date remember how we get the new date right and then you pass whatever inside the user data okay so we have created at inside the user right Secreted that so we just pass that date to this constructor function right this is from the javascript new date it will give you the new date but the new date will be based on this right i'm not new date but this will create the date whatever we have in the database okay so we stored in here now now we're going to format that date right to to be used in our way okay so we said this function now this function is object has something right it has some date inside we say created at date dot to local date string we we just use this function to uh basically create a format right one format of the date where you're gonna get year month and day right the date format will be es uh, en us right standard and in the other object you pass it this is the function to local date string is a function right inside you pass two parameter uh, basically value right first is the string with en dash us second you pass object inside the object you have a uh, year month and day i uh, make it numeric long and numeric like like that just pass it so this is in us the way you can format right and now you're going to display that uh, date okay so we're going to go back here here now right and just call our uh, formatted formatted date right or date okay so now it will give us something in this way september 17 2004 right so this account i, I created and yesterday okay september 17 right yesterday i created okay because i think i always keep deleting and adding deleting and adding right when i was testing so so you can see now this will give me the date right when joined uh we can maybe make it bold right uh let's do that by adding here b tag okay so yeah that is good enough so now right uh, the next thing we're going to work on is this following following okay so we have here right the button uh first button for following and the second is the link for the uh block user right this one okay so let's see how we're gonna work uh, we're gonna just follow our documentation here so let's say we, we're done with the 
uh, user info card basically adding the just updating the data right user data okay we done with that step two now let's add some variable right add variable to hold boolean value button is clicked when the button is clicked right the thing is uh when you're gonna click this button right uh what is that here when you click this button we want to hold some data right so data will be like uh you know like is following uh is blocked and all that right the is user block is following is following request send these are the few uh data right you want to hold in the beginning all is false and see how we can update all this right so let's copy this right uh, let's copy this and we can put it somewhere here okay let let me think right uh I, you know we're gonna have to create the uh basically we have to create the new component right so okay so i think i added the component somewhere here let me see so in the profile no right menu right okay so user info card interaction right basically we're gonna we're gonna add everything here okay the problem is uh, remember that the first problem we have right is these are the button okay and we need to click now that is client action right not the server so this page is what server server action okay uh, this is server right we don't have use client here so we're gonna move these two button in our new component okay in the user info card right and over there we're gonna uh, basically uh add everything okay? just deal with everything right so let's try to do that let me go here so i have added something here let me quickly check here right so user info card i'm just going to copy this for now right and i will delete these two button and call that component right okay and this component is going to have user id we're just going to pass few things user id is user block is following and is following send right these are the few things we're gonna send so let's import now right let's import this component uh, we don't need button here now so import a uh, user info card right import that so you will see now here right user id i mean it will complain okay so you have the user id right in this we have the user id so we're going to pass that that's fine here we don't have is user block is following and is following sent right we don't have that variable so now we we have that variable created earlier right here on the top this one we'll just copy that one okay i mean basically we can copy right because we are updating also uh yeah i think uh, let's see let's copy whole thing right and i will explain this so go back to our user info card and on the top here right uh, because this will be outside of return okay somewhere here let's put it there so now we have to step by step we have to walk through right uh, the first thing is we have to import this auth we don't have that so let's import that here on the top import 
path right from the uh lark path okay so import that now this function is not the async function yet so we have to make this function async right so let's make that async function so that we can use await right we don't have prisma yet so let's import that prisma also prisma right uh import prisma oh we got already right on the here we got that so let's look at this starting from this point right simple variable is user block that is false is following false is following sent right all is a boolean value is false now we can get the user id right from the auth that will be the person who is logged in that is let's call that one current user okay because we are using this other place also right this variable so we can replace it with a new name right current user id so we check now if current user id if that is true right we'll check block uh request okay i'm just called response right basically response this is just a variable name right block response so we go inside the block in the prisma right uh in our database and find first okay we're gonna pass blocker id that is current user id right and blocked id also which is from the user dot id we have this user dot id right so if you go inside the block there is two field right in the schema Let's look at the schema again and try to understand. So in the block here, uh, we have two things, right? The block blocked ID and blocker ID. See, uh, so you can see here, right? But right now we we only dealing with the uh, followers and following requests, right? But I'm just explain it. Uh, when we work with the block, you will see the use case of this also right so let's get back here so that is blocker res uh, response this will be useful later i will just explain now and if there is blocker response right change this is user block to true right else make it false that is all you know we're just changing this variable now followers request you know again go to the follower table find first and pass the current user id and the user id right if there is follow follow request i mean if there is something feedback right based on this information okay you are requesting data from the database from this field okay if there is something back what you will do we're gonna check now if there is true value right or basically if this is with some data then make it is following true right else if this will be null then just make it false which is already false right so we have to do that so this will be useful maybe we'll talk about this tomorrow but for now just leave it there we have this one right now the follow request we just converted the value to true uh so now let's go back here right uh where is that follow request did i copy uh, okay the the this is the follow request right you can send the follow request the response now there will be response also right so follow request response which we're gonna see again in the future uh you know like for now just understand same thing go to that follow request field find based on this information and then you change the value right this value is follow request sent right true if you have something then make it true else make it false so these are the three things block request right and uh request sent and the follow request right i mean you can request something or if there is already follow request right you know like you can request first time here i mean this is the part we're checking right or if there is already request sent before you know this is the part which we're checking okay so once we finish checking with the database now we can pass all this value to our field here right we're gonna pass that okay we're gonna pass this 
So now why it's complaining? Let's look at now, right? Is a string user ID is a string. Uh, these are a boolean. Uh, we got that, but why it's complaining? Yeah, I mean, uh, let's see, user ID, right? Okay, fine. Uh, let's leave it right. Let's go back and try to work on the uh, the component, this component now. Okay, let's get back here. And because we have now, right, props passing, we have to, you know, like receive all that props. So let's go take the, that code now. Uh, the, the suspense things I will talk later, right? Let's leave it. What is that suspense and all that, right? So we're going to go to the next step here so see this code right i'll just copy this code first we're just going to talk about the our props right so let's put that props here and try to understand that user info card right if you put the props so you have this user id uh is user block is following and following uh following sent right request sent okay so these are one two three four that's what we have passed right one two three four okay so everything looks good we receive that value user id is a string and the rest of three is boolean right we have we are not using any value yet so that's why you see the red error right the next step is now here one thing we're going to use the you know like we're going to use the huge state hook also right we store the value for now okay let's call that so we have this huge state hook let's copy this try to understand that first Uh, let's go here. So see what is happening here, right? We just user state and set user state, right? Remember when you're gonna make some changes to the database, right? Uh, you know, like you 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 have to get that value from somewhere and stored in the local state, right? So that you can use that. Okay, so that's the reason for use state. We're gonna store this object this object has following block and following request sent right right now you know we're not going to do anything with the block but just leave it there right uh so just leave it there it's okay for now so once we have done that right uh, this is the initial state okay initial state and all this three value is coming from here right is user block following and is following sent right these are the things we have stored here in the form of object right so now if i say user state is that this object okay so every time i can call user state dot following user state dot block user state dot uh, this one i can call right and i'm going to get whatever value inside here uh, this is the function to update this object right this object so we will see how we can update that later okay so let's get back here and remember we deleted the button also right we deleted the button the other side okay and we we use this uh, component right so that button we're going to call here now right inside this component so let me do one thing i'll just copy uh everything from here right let's copy these things and then we you know continuously work on that Okay, guys, go back here. So, uh, I have from uh, I have the return. Okay, why I'm keep clicking right? So return is here, and this is the one function right, which is just for the follow. Okay, let's get back in inside here, and then after this step, I will place right. Let me delete this one. No need. Place, and I have extra closing tag. I will delete that. Okay, so now let's look at here. Here is the button, the first button, 
and this is the second button right for the block and unblock basically block user or unblock user right and this is the button for the follow following button okay so now when you click the button right how are we gonna change the state like how are we gonna change we're gonna click the button then you're gonna change right so for changing that we will call this function follow function right see uh, this is the client page use client right user client we cannot uh, call the server action directly here so what we have to do is you, we can call the form right like this form and then we can you know like pass our button inside the form right and this form action like form has an action right when you click the button this function will be called okay and this function has our uh, server action function right which we're going to create just now okay and this will take the user id and it will do some work right for us so we're going to pass the user id and it will just do something right so we will look at what this function is doing for us okay so before we move to this function right let's look at here set user state right this is the set user state uh, function to change this uh, object okay this will take the callback function inside the callback function previous is what previous is the state here right this data that is a previous state whatever inside this value right that is previous so when you have object right and you want to change something inside this object you have to read the whole object and then change the property right one by one whatever property you want to change change there okay so i want to change the following and i want to change the following request right maybe sometimes i just want to change following sometimes maybe this one right any one of them but you have the whole three things three field right then you are changing one of them when you click the button right so when you change whatever the value inside here right previous like whatever the object dot following if that is true then it will be take this one if that is false then it will just take the false it will stay false right remember if this is true then this will be applied okay so based on true or false this will work right same thing here also if there is previous no previous following right and no previous like basically i'm saying is following request dot or we or we can call it a uh, uh, user state dot following request right that is what is we are doing here this previous is this whole object okay so that's why it says previous dot following if that is false and if this one is false then apply true else put false right get the point now so let's work on this function now right that's the function which will do the job updating our database okay so in our leave we're going to create one file right called actions and here we're going to all the server action right like all the functions which will interact with our database we're just going to put inside here okay so one one place right so uh, let me go back and find that function uh leave action okay this is the one right so i'll just copy everything i just have one function for now right oh i cannot copy what is what is happening you know my mouse sometimes okay i don't know why, why i cannot copy right so i'll just copy from here and go back to this place and Paste, right so this is the server action right so you have to write here use server right like that okay so what you see here right use server so anything in this one will be function right which will interact with the database so we have to import this in our field here right let's import that import uh what is that name switch follow right yeah 
import that okay uh, if you look at this uh, export cons right name export so we must put in the curly bracket when you are importing right so now we gonna go through each of them see this function need user id right so we are sending here user id look at here inside the try this is the function async function right uh try await switch follow and we pass the user id which is we have in our parameter right inside this function okay now what this function does let's go and try to find out we have the current user also and you have the user id also okay if no current user just throw the error right that means it is not authenticated someone is not logged in you, you cannot do this thing right now in the try catch block we're gonna check existing follow right so we go inside the prisma follower and try to find if there is something related to the follower id and following id right if that two matches right it will return the existing follow right it will return and basically it will return some data right i mean it will just find with this id right and return the that field okay field from follower field right from this field follower or from this table you can call it right so if you go to the schema right and look at the follower where is the follower this one right you will get basically for that user id right uh, you will get id created at follower you know follower id following and follower following id right all this information you get if there is right match okay because this is one table table can have many rows of data right and we are trying to i'm the logged in user right and i'm trying to come find something with the person who i'm trying to follow or you know re send requests right like following requests or something like that so it will find existing follow it will find if existing follow right then just delete that uh, await prisma follower delete function where existing follow dot id okay just delete remove that one else else right we're gonna uh else we're gonna we're gonna check for the follow request inside the follow request right maybe there is already request sent maybe right then you go there and try to find that in this field now follow request field so go back here follow request right inside here check if there is already request sent okay if that is the case right then delete that also right if this is true then try to delete that okay else we're going to create now right we're going to create new request follow request just create new follow request right create that by calling await prisma follow request create and you pass the data right data we're just updating the user, current user id and user id right that is all okay if there is some error console log something went wrong right throw error okay that is all so now uh until now right just the one function we are using to switch the follow right like send the follow request or maybe remove right remove the request okay so let's see if this work or not uh so there is some error now right uh, i don't know what is the error okay because i should have tested earlier okay let me check right what is the error so i, I will just uh, close right just close and restart again the server uh and see if that will be fixed delete the other one okay just taking time right okay so if i go to my profile go inside there right 
and everything working fine if i just click here now follow right just click friend request send right look at here if i click again get back to the follow right like undo do and undo right like okay and same thing we're gonna block or unblock we're gonna same process we're gonna follow okay but for now you can see here right what is happening so for today class right i want to add something more here suspense what is suspense right what is suspense i had here the suspense is a react feature that allow developer to display a temporary or fallback ui right when waiting for data to load okay see when you are getting data from the database right but then if it takes time then you want to display like uh like loading or something like that remember that loading text so that is now now the react has something called suspense component right if you display something inside the suspense it knows until the data is loaded right it will display like loading field so how we can add that so let's go back here right in the right menu see in the right menu right uh, we have user info card and the user media card right these two here these two right so in the future if it will take time to load this with the data right i mean for many if you have many users right a lot of people are uh you know like in the database uh getting or fetching data maybe network is slow it will take some time so how are we gonna add loading field right while this is basically loading the data how we can do that so we can use something called suspense okay from the react now right uh, react 19 easy to use you just call the suspense component and put the fallback right call loading and then after user info card and pass the user info right just pass this uh, props okay same thing for the user media right so we just wrapping inside the suspense component that is all and put the fallback with some text here right so maybe here you can have separate component as a fallback you can create like a uh, you know like tailwind component for loading and put there right or just put loading for now that is good enough so if you refresh here uh, it's very quick right now but uh, it will like you see the blink right it's loading and then display this okay and it's, this is working also right that's fine so what are we going to do is uh, what we're going to do in tomorrow class right uh, we will try to work on this block user and one more thing right in the react 19 uh, react 19 right there is something called use optimistic okay use optimistic hook right let's see yeah this one so the use optimistic hook is currently only available in react right uh only available in react canary and experimental channel okay i don't know if this will work or not uh but what it does right so basically use optimistic is a react hook that lets you show a different state while an async action is underway right basically see what we are doing here we are uh that means right we are trying to just load and unload right like either change switch the like you know like we're just switching the information right but in the back in back actually it is going to the database updating our data also right with the user id or deleting something for the following and all that all that async action happening right so right now i have the database within my computer it's quick right it's fast but if it is in the network it will may take a lot of time if the data is or server is slow it will take a lot of time right but what this hook does right even the data handling happening behind the scene right the text will be quickly updated like instance right it will update the text with the information okay but it will even it takes some time to up update the database it's okay that will happen in the back side right but just to update this uh it will be very quick so 
this quick hook right so we'll, we'll try to use this uh, see how it work right uh so we're gonna implement this tomorrow uh let's wait i mean just stop here for now right thank you very much guys uh, i hope it's clear if anything just let me know right so what we have done today basically update this field and then added the server actions and also we create component right this two we have created component okay separate component and we added server action for changing updating this follow right okay like sending request like or unsend right that's what we have done and tomorrow we'll continue right we're just gonna work on this part and then we're gonna maybe do i don't know maybe we're gonna add like a, what we're gonna do right uh, let's see maybe we're gonna work on this add post or something next right we'll see what we're gonna do right or or maybe the comment right something like comment you know so there is comment there is share there is likes so these are the all fields we have to work on right uh yeah and then then the post right there is post uh what else we have we'll see we're gonna go step by step right one by one all right guys let me stop here